myself with the urban experience uh, please like comment and subscribe to all my videos I got thousands of videos coming daily sorry for the uh, long halt I was on vacation not really vacation but it was Memorial Day weekend and it was a lot of alcohol and strippers and drinks and fun and stories I can't really tell you right now but uh, I got a lot of stuff coming off uh, this week, a lot of music video reactions. I haven't did a lot within the last maybe almost week. Maybe I've done about two or three or four, but I'm way better than that. I usually do about two to three a day. So we're going to be back on the grind. We're going to be reacting to a lot of stuff. Um, I'm only reacting to my top two on each list on the weekends. And um, so we can get more and more and more of this stuff. Um, Today we were reacting to Deontay Hitchcock growing up. Alright, so let's talk about Deontay Hitchcock. Now, this is my third, maybe fourth song reacting to him. Um, he started off kind of rocky. Um, he has a great production in the music, like the beats and the, the sounds and all. It sounds amazing, but I always, I, didn't, I saw him as a watered down T.I. And then my subscribers jumped in and said, whoa, bruh, whoa, bruh. It do kind of good, bro. Let me let you hear some of his other stuff. Uh, one of my favorite subscribers, um, he he told me about, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but uh, basically talking to God or something like that. But it was basically him, like, talking about, you know, addiction and stuff like that and issues going through. And I like that. That was a really good video. So it gave me, all right, I check out at least one more. And this is the other guy. That jumped in and said, ah, right, you gotta check this one out. So it's called Growing Up Mother God. So right now Deontay Hitchcock, Hitchcock is on the on the positive side. Let's see. See you see if he can stay there. You know what I'm saying? And uh see if he I ain't gonna put him on the band list no more because that last song was pretty good. So well, I might not react to him as much if he ain't ah, you know. Anyway, here you go. Rolling up. Yeah, for the low, low, low. I told you, it's, 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 <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. His production is really good. His production team is amazing. Too fast, you need to slow it up. Mm. Mm. I haven't even heard the song yet, but... At least it sounds like I can ride to it. You know what I'm saying? Like something you can bump in the car and just ride. And go back a little bit. No, I know I done been through some things, but I'm still right here. Through the hurt, through the pain, overcame my fears. I'm gonna be growing up. Maybe not, I don't know. No, no. Okay. Okay, whoa, nigga, whoa, nigga, most of these niggas look just like me. Okay. Go, nigga, go, nigga, motivate niggas, you just might be okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, y'all. I apologize about Deontay. Why y'all keep sitting? Man, I'm going to get, you know what? That's why I love my subscribers. Again, subscribe, like, and comment all my videos. Tell your friends about me. It doesn't hurt, but this is a click a button. I was letting people at my party subscribe to my channel. Some people don't even got YouTube, bro. Some people don't even watch YouTube, bro. Tell your friends. I know you ain't doing nothing. Subscribe to this boy channel, man. He kind of cool, man. He reacts to a lot of good music videos, and I'm... I'm I'm for I'm for, I'm for, I'm I'm for my people, bro. I don't just react to I react to some of the hot stuff, but I don't just react to the hot stuff. But anyway, the reason why I'm getting with all this, I apologize. My friend told me about Deontay Hitchcock, and I thought he was trash because I listened to Circles. I was like, bro, Circles is an interesting thing, but nigga suck. I'm listening to this. This ain't this is not the same. Right? This is Ti, the, the newer Ti, like the great rapping Ti. And I, clearly, I haven't heard the whole song, but the dude's spitting. I might go back a little bit, but subscribers, that's why I love y'all. Y'all y'all put me on game, man. I apologize. This dude's straight. He's straight. <laughs> so, you know, he, ain't bad. he ain't nowhere near bad. We good. We good. Let's go back a little bit. It, it started off too hot. I ain't even get a chance to check out the bars. That's true. The world made us cold. Like they make us just stay in the hood. 
you can't. I can't tell you how many times you'll drive down to. You know, I don't, I'm in Atlanta, so I don't know about other places, but you'll be in a nice area and you'll drive and you'll see just straight hood. And you know, you'd be like, why are these people still here? Like, cause they they keep developing shit, but the work it, it's hard to move out when everything is going against you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just difficult. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's all you know. You know, that's tough. It's just facts. I'm going to go back a little bit. That's facts. Might be okay. World made us cold. Niggas tears from the hood. Let my niggas fight Lee. So you know I got to stay on my toes. Nigga ain't shit sweet. Sugar, honey, iced tea. Okay. Told niggas one, two, three, way back. That the flow clean like Ajax. It's big payback. If you switch sides, no take back. You know, homie, don't play that shit. Whole lot of manifesting going on with a fortune like a young Pat Sajak. Hard to find like a needle in a haystack, baby. With a young Pat Sajak. That's hard. That's funny. Since big payback, if switch sides, no take back, you know, homie, don't play that shit. Whole lot of manifesting going on with a fortune like a young Pat Sage. Hard to find like a needle in a haystack, baby, I need my space. That's why I'm rolling up. Yeah, for the low, slow, slow, slow. You move too fast, you need to slow it up. Yeah, for the low, slow, slow. He said, I get high for the lows, lows, lows. Like, hey, sometimes when you be feeling down, bro, you just gotta smoke. I don't smoke. I don't know if y'all knew that, but I don't smoke. But I totally understand it. Take it slow, slow, slow. I know, I know, I done been through some things, but I'm still right here. Through the hurt, through the pain, overcame my fears. I'ma be growing up. Maybe not, I don't know. No, no, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I'm doing everything in 2019, so in 2020 I can see it clearly. I'm tired of making the same New Year's resolutions on the fucking year. On the road to riches in my own lane, let my soul steal me. But even in the belly of the beast, I'm still God's son. I mean, that's silly. Hope I never let Nas down, but Nas ain't the Even in the belly of the beast, I'm still God's son, man. No matter where you hit, you can be hiding underneath the earth. God, God got you. You know, he, he'll look out for you. That's what's up. Nigga, that I need to hear me. Why? He already got a million, but my nigga still. My bad. I'm tired of making the same New Year's resolutions on the fucking year. On the road to riches in my own lane, let my soul steal me. But even in the belly of the beast, I'm still God's son. I mean, that's silly. Hope I never let Nas down, but Nas ain't the nigga that I need to hear me. Why? He already got a million, but my niggas still stuck at the bottom. Feeling like they ain't the one who really got them. Living life like they ain't no fucking tomorrow, really. Cause I might not be no damn tomorrow. Cause we ain't living no time this bar. So why did he mention Nas? Like, is he a Nas fan? I know he's saying Nas got, already got a million and shit, but maybe I'm not catching that. Why is he specifically mentioning Nas? But I'll go back a little bit. Maybe I can't catch it. I know you said my Nas already got a million, and you know. I'm um, tired of making the same New Year's like resolutions on the fucking year. I'm on the road to riches in my own lane, let my soul steal me. But even in the belly of the beast, I'm still God's son. I mean, that's silly. Hope I never let Nas down, but Nas ain't the nigga that I need to hear me. Why? He already got a million, but my niggas still stuck at the bottom. Feeling like they ain't the one who really got them. Living life like they ain't no fucking tomorrow, really. Cause I might not be no damn tomorrow. Cause we ain't living no time. This borrowed. I talk to God. I would like God. God would like suck. I would like shit. My bad for cuss. She was like, nigga, please told y'all to come how you is. What's on your mind? I already know. Wouldn't be much of a God unless I did. I would like truth. So what would you recommend I do? Cause I'm straight. Just enough as it is, God was like, look, my nigga, he ain't have to make it this far, but look, bro, you did flow like the wind, we don't judge a fish on this fly, not I'm pretty sure God don't talk like this, but I understand the message. Think about the swim, be what you is, even when it hurts you. Really, we just all here to serve a purpose. I set the stage, play, roll the curtains, better make it work. Pass me the blunt, I see you. Rolling up, yeah, for the low, slow, 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 too fast, you need to slow it up. Deontre Hitchcock has a lot of messages in his song, but they be so country sometimes that it just be like, you know, the average person won't be, first thing, I'm from Atlanta, so I totally understand this cat, but you know what I'm saying, so I don't have a problem with him, that's just, until y'all subscribers help me out, I just didn't, like, come on, bro, but he's actually good, he's really, really good, he has great messages, you know what I'm saying, this whole song about this message, let me talk to God, you know what I'm saying, like, so I can get out this low, 
and become a better person. Like, I think, and he's, he's good. He got a lot of message. He's not a typical hood rapper. He definitely has a good message. He does it in a hood way, but he has a perfect message. And it's very rare to see, you know, most hood niggas, they just talking about stupid shit. Money, clothes, hoes, bitches, and all that shit. But I like that. Working hard, keep pushing, remember you're the greatest. Yeah, great production. That helps out a lot, too. Uh, 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 uh. Somebody asked me why I thank God as a woman And I said your mama cooking must not be as good as mine Your little sister must not warm your <laughs> I like that I like that yeah, Somebody asked me if God's a woman They said your mama cooking must not be as good as my mama I'm like straight up But then my mama was God growing up She did everything for me She was literally God That's tough When you see a cracker smiling You never seen one hold a child in her arm That's she just birthed Hands down, man, walking this earth surface. Y'all the closest thing I done seen to perfect. Girl, I'm with nice and nursing, working two jobs on the side, still trying to find purpose. Giving love to those who need it, not just those who. You know the best way to describe him? If. If J. Cole. And 21 Savage had a baby, it'd be him. That's the best way to describe it. Cause he country and he got the Atlanta slang. He has a J. Cole message. His rapping skill might not be as on par, but he has a great meaning behind it. But he real, like 21. I respect that. I don't know if y'all can get that reference, but that's what he remind me of. Um, well, we, we just listen to the message right now. I, I love messages, so we're gonna check this out. This thing I done seen the perfect girl. I'm with nice and nursing, working two jobs on the side, still trying to find purpose, giving love to those who need it, not just those who deserve it. That's the type of shit that make me love her more. Couldn't cut her loose if I had scissors, this love galore. She bring me peace, and now she ain't street in the least. But if it's beef, I know that she'll hold the heat for me like the oven door. Really becoming more and more convinced that I love y'all, but y'all may love me more. I don't think that I can compete with my mother's joy seeing the baby boy live out his dreams cause years ago I wasn't even <laughs> It's real bro, he's he doing that Erica Badu shit right now bro, like straight up, he doing the hood version of that. I mean Lauren Hill, I'm tripping, I said Erica Badu, I'm tripping, Lauren Hill, man, I'm tripping. sure what I was living for, just know I love you more than life itself, my heart cold but I know the ice can melt. I'm your son, but you shine like one. And all them tears you cry for me to get through them, you must be Michael. So I just noticed the title. I'm growing up, Mother God. He's saying, as I was growing up, my mother was God. Like, he's bad. It's the whole song. I know clearly, good stuff. But sorry, y'all. took me a while to kind of find out how deep he, he's going with it. Extremely deep, though. He's like, bro, if you wrote this to a mom, like, she'll be a shit, boy. Phelps. Great Mother's Day gift. As the cars in this life get dealt, I know I always got me some queen. I'm my grandma's partners, cousins, and aunties always on time like a shanty. Whether I need me some advice or just want to talk, but it haunt me to this day. I ain't go see Brianna up in that hospital bed. Convinced myself I had a lot on my head. It ain't a lie, cause at the time, and I did. Lessons learned putting things I should do today out for tomorrow instead. You, my mama, Neek, Granny, Brenda, and Lena, Mama J, Auntie Tyra, Jay, Tanae, Auntie Keita, Claudine, and Claudette, Steph and Josette, Icy and Lisa, Miss Tina, Caroline, Blair, and Amethyst, Kyamina, made sure I started with love like Serena. You mentioned everybody and still rhyme with us, cool. <laughs> and if love is God and God is love, then these a couple places I seen. Started with love like Serena. If love is God and God is love. Man. <laughs> Shout out to his production team again. Dude is amazing. All right, y'all, man. That was Deontay Hitchcock, Growing Up, Mother God. I get that song about a seven. That's a really good song. The message is like a nine, clearly. Um, it was good, though. It was good, though. I liked it. I liked it. It was good, smooth. It was, it was chill. Um, so, it seems that this CD has other hits that I just don't know of. My friend is just giving me the trash shit. So if y'all know some other of the top hits from this song, I believe this is, let me let me break some shit down to y'all. This is my personal opinion. Um, every pretty good CD has about five hits that are just slangers. 
Like, this is a really good. Some of them are radio hits, some of them aren't. But it's about five songs that you can guarantee say they're real fans find about eight great CDs. They have about 11. And if you get more than that, then it's one of those legendary CDs. Like, you know, so many of them out there, man. But it's very, very rare to get to even past the eight mark. But, um, so I always tell people, you know, if I'm reacting to a CD, there's about five songs that I can just say, I, that, that I like all these five, I can play all these five on my playlist, I'm good. The other ones, like, eh, I probably won't play them, they're cool, but yeah. So, so far we listened to, I think, three from this album. So, I'm pretty sure if y'all say this guy is the way he is, there's about two more. That are just really good bangers. I love this song. I don't know if this is considered one of the bangers, but I really like this song. I do not consider the Circles a banger at all. Trash. <laughs> cool song. Trash. But um, yeah, y'all let me know if I'm my calculation right. There's about three more songs from this album that are supposed to be pretty, 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 pretty good that I haven't heard yet. So subscribers, y'all get on y'all game. Hit me up. Let me know. All right, y'all, this is the Urban Experience. Subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe. <laughs> and we out. I'm the Urban Experience, where we do things the urban way. I'm out.